Hey, this is David the Shepherd School, and uh, I was sitting here making another grow bed, and I thought that uh, you might think it was interesting, so I dug out the camera right quick. Um, this is just a little plastic uh, bin that I got at Walmart on clearance. It was just a couple bucks. And then I've got some little screw-in um, fittings, little bulkhead fittings. They were a dollar a piece. I've got one up high for the input and one down low for the uh, output. Then I just took a hole saw and I drilled 15 holes. Then I've just got some uh, little Dixie cups. They cost just, I don't know, $1.98 I think for a whole stack of them. And all I'm doing is I'm taking my soldered iron and punching holes in them. Okay? So all I'm doing And the idea is, I put my medium in here, and the water will flow in. The roots will grow out these little holes. And then when I'm ready to harvest, I could just pull out the, the cup, rather than having to uh, change a bunch of hydroton and wash out gravel and stuff. As these things get dirty, I can just... Uh, I can just replace them. They're doing pretty good for my beans, and I've got some uh, peppers, but uh, I'm kind of just starting with this, and they haven't um, they haven't grown out. The roots haven't yet, so we're just kind of experimenting and seeing if this works. Because basically, at the store, the the hydroponic store. They sell these little baskets that have a bunch of slats in them, but they're kind of expensive. And the whole purpose of doing this is to be able to do it cheaper, even if I don't get quite the yields, I don't have as much expense in it. Okay? So, when I get another bed going, I'll. Uh, show you what this looks like, but I'm going to try to get these plants growing before I add more fish, okay? So that's really all there is to it. So until next time, you can always catch us online at www.teengun.com.